Well, when we hit the dog days of summer in Oklahoma, that means pests and summer crops are usually an issue. So Tom, what are you hearing right now? Right now, um, well, of course, we're always concerned about um, grain sorghum pests, um, headworm, the aphids. Um, they've been something that's been on our mind for since about 2014. Uh, I've also seen some issues in uh, some of the uh, uh, soybean fields this year. Uh, false chinch bugs have been uh, attacking. I even heard a, a really kind of odd one, those roly polies getting into, getting into um, soybean. That's a first, that's a new one on me. I've never heard that, but seen false chinch bugs if you didn't get your weeds controlled before you, you, you planted uh, soybean. And, uh, and of course we also in certain places in Oklahoma in uh, grain sorghum, we have chinch bug too. So those are things that need to be watched. That means that you have to get out and be kind of paying attention to what's going on. So uh, really quick, you know, it's been really, really hot. And it's gonna keep getting hotter. How does that impact, uh, you know, pests in our summer crops? Well, uh, certain pests like chinch bugs love hot weather. It all, also seems to me that uh, Sugarcane aphids always been okay with hot weather too, but part of the deal that we've got with, with or sugarcane aphid now is that we've got a lot of resistant varieties or tolerant varieties, so we don't see them as much of an issue as we did before. So, you know, talking about aphids, you actually have an aphid app that, yes. could, that could help a lot of producers, you know, when they're going out and scout. Yeah, we finally got this thing programmed and it's available um, now. Uh, it's it's called the sugarcane aphid app. It's downloadable on uh, Apple Store or Google Play, um, and it works works really slick. And it's backed by a lot of research from uh, former PhD student uh, Jess Lindenmeyer. We call it the Glance and Go app because it's a presence absence sequential sampling system, which means you only sample until the app tells you that you've made a decision to treat or not treat you don't have to keep sampling after that. If it's 50 or more, you just say it's infested. If it's less than 50, you say it's not infested. So it's a pretty simple system to, to go through and it saves a lot of time and sampling. So and it's I, I would imagine that one thing that, that's really useful for this is it also probably saves producers money if they're not, might not have a bad of an issue as they thought when it comes to, earth, uh, to insecticide. Yes, um, that, that's the whole point of it. We, we only want fields to be treated if they need to be and we want to save um, a scout or producer time by sampling. So it's combining two things. It's, it's an economics of time and it's an economics of, of uh, production. This app will keep track of all the different fields that you've sampled in a given time and it'll tell you what the decision was. So you have to name your fields. You have to select the control costs that it's gonna, it would cost to treat the field and you have to select the price that you're hoping to get for the grain. And I just go in and take a stop out here and I look at three plants in a row and I look at the uppermost extended leaf and the lowermost extended leaf, looking for aphids. If there's 50 or more aphids, I say it's infested. If there's less than 50 on the two leaves, I say it's not infested. And continue to do that until it gives me a decision. You have, to, you have to check a minimum of 15 plants before it will give you a decision. And then when you're done, you just uh, say save the sample and it will save it to your thing and you can go back and look at it later. All right, thanks, Tom. Tom Royer, Extension Entomologist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like more information on how to download the app he was talking about, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.